Hi, welcome everybody. In this episode we will have a peek into the Simpson 260 Series 7 volt ohm milliampere. To open the case, we turn this unit upside down. The unit has an extra compartment where you inside the batteries. Right now two batteries are inside, one big battery, 1.5 volts for the ohm meter and a 9 volt battery also for the ohm meter for the range times 100. In this compartment we also have fuses. There are two main fuses and one spare fuse in this in this hole. To open the multimeter we have to loosen four screws. One, two, three and four. The case is made from hard plastic and the Simpson multimeter were the most popular multimeters in the US in years 50s, 60s and 70s I think. It has a practical handle or a stand and now let me take the case off. Here are the four screws. All the screws have the same length. Mm, now it smells the old electronic smell. Here you go. Look at that. Let me put this aside. And now we can look, have a look on the insides of the multimeter. All discrete through hole components, main switches for the main range, and what is the other one? This is for the ohm meter, I think. To zero the ohms. This is the main switch, and here you have to choose like it is described in the user manual. The connections are made as reverse banana plug with extended length. I don't have unfortunately all the cables so I can I can't show you the proper operation of the multimeter in this episode. Let us have a look around the multimeter. The ranges is to 1000 volts, DC and AC. It has also a 50 volts and microamps range. The smallest range has 1 volt and you can read the scales directly because it is time 10, 50, 250 and the ohm range is upside down. The ohm range you have to zero at this point for mal 10 times 100 and times 10,000 and for times 1 to 150 ohms you have to zero at this side because the scale starts at this point and goes 
this way around up to 250 ohms so here is 0 ohm in the times 1 range that's what you need the 1.5 volts battery for and then during your measuring you have to con connect the proper terminal here for the plus 10 amperes range here for the 50 microamperes range minus 10 amperes here's the common ground here's an output voltage and here is the 1000 volts AC and DC range this is a very robust multimeter it is not too easy to destroy it now let us have a look at the construction it is one main board all discrete components you have here some trimmers here, here, here and here this is on some the inscription 1% accuracy it is a nice construction I can't see any burns so I can suppose I suppose this multimeter is in perfectly working condition here yeah, nice nicely lead points on the inside I can see the wire for the 10 amp current measurement and here the batteries are connected to the main board there are two plus and two black wires for the ground this trimmer stands a little bit off it was probably mounted this way it is not very important for the electrical characteristics but it just looks funny okay Okay, this is all what I wanted to show you. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit.